When it comes to native, nut producing trees and shrubs, the oaks get most of the attention. The mostly gone but not forgotten American chestnut also gets a ton of press, even though there is no blight resistant variety available, yet. While these trees are excellent nut producers, they are not the best choice in all situations. Smaller yards and shrubland management areas are perfect places to use native nut producing shrubs. Which brings us to one of the best and sadly underutilized native nut producing shrubs, the Allegheny chinkapin, also known as the dwarf chestnut, Castanea pumila. Like its larger relative, the Allegheny chinkapin produces nut filled burrs, but unlike the American chestnut, the chinkapin only produces one nut per burr, which will ripen from late August through October, depending on location. The nuts are small, about the diameter of a dime, and are eaten by a wide variety of wildlife, including northern bobwhite, wild turkey, larger songbirds, deer, squirrels, and other small mammals. They were also an important food for the Native Americans. The nuts of the Allegheny chinkapin are sweet and quite edible. Many say better than chestnuts but good luck beating the critters to them. The main reasons they have not been produced as a commercial crop is due to the nuts being held tightly within the burr and the small nuts can be tough to shell. Chestnuts in comparison have a burr which breaks open, often spilling the nuts out and makes them easy to gather with mechanical harvesting equipment and the shell is relatively easy to remove. A huge advantage Allegheny chinkapin has over many of the other native nut producing trees and shrubs is that it is quite precocious and can start producing nuts in as few as two to three growing seasons. If you love native nut producing shrubs, make like a squirrel and bury that like button. A chinkapin in full bloom is quite a sight as the white flowers form in long thin spikes that seem to cascade from the branches. The showy spikes of white flowers are wind pollinated, but the ample pollen is collected by native bees and honeybees. Bloom occurs from May to July, depending on location. Male and female flowers occur on the same shrub, but Allegheny chinkapin is self-sterile, so in order to produce nuts, more than one will need to be planted. In addition to providing pollen for bees, the Allegheny chinkapin is used by a wide variety of other insects and is the host plant for at least 29 moth species, including the hickory tussock moth. Allegheny chinkapin grows naturally as a small, usually 10 to 15 feet tall with a six to 10 foot spread, multi-stemmed thicket forming shrub. Under certain circumstances or with training, it can grow as a taller, single stemmed small tree. It is somewhat blight resistant and even if killed back to the root system, it will resprout with no ill effects if the roots are healthy. Chestnut blight is an interesting plant pathogen and a very important one as well. If you would like to see a video devoted to chestnut blight, how it got to America and its impact on chestnuts here, let me know down in the comments. Allegheny chinkapin is found mainly in the southeast. This map shows it is native to Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, but it is only found in Indiana and Ohio along the Ohio River Valley and in Pennsylvania in the southern half of the state. It is also only native in Missouri along the Arkansas border. Chinkapin grows best in dry, acidic to normal soils and tends to do well in any type of well-drained soil. Moist to wet soils should be avoided when planting as Allegheny chinkapin is susceptible to root rot and plants will not survive. It does well in full sun to partial shade. The biggest obstacle to using this native dwarf chestnut in landscaping and wildlife plantings is its low commercial availability. While some native plant nurseries do carry Allegheny chinkapin, most do not. This may be due to the tenderness of the seedlings during their first fall and winter. Chinkapins sprout soon after falling from the burrs, and some precocious nuts will sprout in the burrs. These seedlings will grow to a few inches tall before going dormant for the winter. If the temperature gets too low, the sprouts will freeze and die. And if they don't get chilled enough, the seedlings will fail to thrive the following growing season. This tenderness can make growing them on a large scale tricky. A quick tip about buying Allegheny chinkapin planting stock is to get the largest size available. Three gallon plants generally do great when planted out. Smaller sizes can do well, but you are gonna have to give them more care and supervision to make sure they survive. Weed management will greatly increase the survival and be sure to take measures to keep deer and rabbits away from them or they will browse them. Just like this one gallon Allegheny chinkapin I was overwintering in the nursery that a rabbit clipped off. Wire cages can go a long way to getting chinkapins established. The Allegheny chinkapin is a great way to get most of the attributes of the mighty American chestnut, but in a pint sized package. If you'd like to learn about another native nut producing shrub that can handle a little bit moisture sites, 
check out this video on hazelnuts and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.